Hello again, Kyle Broda here from FullSkillsExamPrep.com and as always we're here to help you become a member of the ICCRC by helping you pass your ICCRC Full Skills Exam. So be sure to come visit our website FullSkillsExamPrep.com uh, and you'll get tons and tons of free lessons uh, on there as well and just to keep yourself updated it's pretty useful to visit our site frequently. Alright so this is a continuation from the previous video on the Canada-US Safe Third Country Agreement. This is your sample question and we'll go over the analysis as always. Okay, so just as we discussed yesterday, refugee claimants are required to go to the first country that they set foot in. That is Canada or the US unless they qualify for an exception to the agreement. The exceptions just like we saw yesterday as well family member exceptions, unaccompanied minors, document holders, and public interest. Remember that it's very important that they actually qualify uh, under the regular person to protect stream, so you have to make sure that they're not inadmissible in terms of criminality, uh, 1E, 1F exclusions, all of that type of stuff. Okay, and just like I said, even if they qualify for one of the exceptions that we talked about, they have to meet the other criterion anyway. So it's not automatically that they'll be given protected person status if they meet one of the exceptions. It just means they can apply. Here is your question. Remember with all of our materials as well, we have um, 300, 400 questions similar to this along with the references and answers and all that so that really helps you prepare for your exam. Well here's your question for today. So we have Luca. Luca emigrated illegally from Mexico to the United States with his uncle when he was 10 years old. His dad has been involved with drug cartels and to go back to Mexico would mean to put Luca's life in danger. Luca's mother went to Canada two years ago and asked for refugee status. She was recently declined, so she returned to the U.S. and is currently applying for permanent residency under the Canadian Federal Skilled Worker Program. Luca is now 18 years old and would like to take a chance to go to Canada as a refugee as well. Since he would come from the United States and it would be too dangerous for him to go back to Mexico, would he be able to apply for this status when he arrives at the border. Alright, so that's just the question, well the scenario, and we're going to have to take a look at the potential answers. So as you can see we have A, yes because his mom applied for a work permit. We have B, yes because he'll seek entry to Canada at a Canadian US land border crossing. We have C, no, because he's a minor. We have D, no, because his mom has been rejected for her claim for refugee protection. So as always, I'll give you a little bit of time just to take a look at this. And maybe if you saw the lesson yesterday, maybe you already know the answer. That would be pretty amazing. And that would show you that you're on the right track. So take a minute and see if you can find the answer without even the analysis. All right, let's take a look at the analysis. So first of all, we're looking at the important parts of this scenario. All right, so the part that doesn't really matter, remember you're always gonna to have to go through this anyways. Uh, so his uncle, that little story is not interesting, well, not important for this. The important parts that you should be taking out of this scenario are that he is illegally in the US, his mother, is a rejected refugee claimant, so she applied to Canada and was rejected. He is 18 years old and he's lived in the States for eight years illegally. If you take a look at your test day data booklet, you'll see that on page 10 and page 14, it's pretty concise uh, to find the answer. But remember, you have to practice using this book along with the questions and then that will really 
help you find the answers to these types of questions when you take your, your real exam. So let's go through each uh, potential answer and we'll see which one is correct and I hope you got the correct answer. So we have the first one, yes, because his mom applied for a work permit. So if you remember, his mom is applying for the uh, Federal Skilled Worker Program since she got uh, deported back to the US and also uh, her refugee claim was rejected. So with this one here, let's take a look. So she is a family member, of course. And then we'll just take a look down the list here. So you can see that she doesn't meet any of these ones. You might, some people might get tricked a little bit into thinking uh, about the work permit thing because she applied for, uh, for immigration under the Federal Skilled Worker Program, but she wasn't accepted. Well, she hasn't received an answer yet, I guess that's what the scenario is telling us. So with this, she doesn't actually meet any of these ones here. And there's no mention of him having any other family members there, so you wouldn't assume that he has anything there. And if you take a look deeply, we could say she's not a Canadian citizen, she's not a permanent resident, she's not a per uh, protected person because it was rejected. If you look at that fourth one, so yes, she did make a claim, but it wasn't accepted. Okay, her removal order was not stayed. She does not hold any uh, work permit or study permit. And it hasn't been, uh, her refugee claim was not referred to the IRB. Or it was, but she was rejected. Okay, so then we know that that is definitely not the answer. Let's take a look at B. Okay, yes, because he'll seek entry to Canada at a Canadian US land border crossing. All right, so this one is a little bit tricky as well. So you might look and say, well, yeah, the safe third country agreement applies to people who are coming uh, at a US land border crossing. Uh, in this case, it doesn't really matter actually, because that just means if he had uh, met one of the exceptions, he'd be able to apply for refugee protection in Canada rather than the US. Uh, but in this case, he, well, you might see that he uh, doesn't meet any of the uh, exceptions. So it doesn't really matter where he is actually when he comes in, in this case. All right, so then we know that B is not the correct answer either. Let's take a look at C. So we have no, because he's a minor. If you remember in the scenario, he just turned 18. And then if you look at minors, so a minor would have to be under the age of 18. And also in his case, he has a, a mother in the States. So he would definitely not um, meet this exception and be able to apply. All right, well, you could probably guess that D is the correct answer, but we'll take a look at why, of course, because that's the most important part when you're studying for your exam, is to know why an answer is correct or why an answer is incorrect. So let's take a look here. No, because his mom has been rejected in her claim for refugee protection. All right, so you might think that this is a bit strange uh, to have this one as the correct answer, but in your real exam, you're not always gonna have answers that are 100% clear. You're going to have answers like this that are a bit vague, uh, but correct anyways. So in this case here, of course, the mother is recognized as a family member. Okay, again, as we said, she made a claim, but was rejected, not accepted. If that claim had been accepted, then that would have met the requirements uh, of the family member exceptions. So in this case here, just because his mother was rejected in her claim for refugee protection, he cannot go to Canada and apply for protected person status because he's in the States. All right, remember this is going to be on 
your uh, full skills exam. So in the Safe Third Country Agreement, once you studied a little bit, it's pretty straightforward. So I would recommend reading the, uh, the article relating to this and of course to go through uh, our materials thoroughly. Okay, so we have one more practice question coming up for you with this topic, so stay tuned. And as always, on behalf of myself and Lizette, a very big thank you for listening and watching and for, of course, letting us help you pass your ICCRC full skills exam. Come on over to our website to be constantly updated with ICCRC-related news. Uh, of course, like us on Facebook and our books and seminars are available on our website, fullskillsexamprep.com. As always, have a great day. Uh, Christmas is around the corner as well, so happy Christmas, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.